And the bastard goes to tear away. The last of us. Papers, please. Welcome to our final behind the scenes look at the BAFTA Games Awards in 2014. Big winners included The Last of Us, Grand Theft Auto V and Tearaway, with prizes also going to Gone Home and Papers, Please. I'm not used to heavy things, I'm used to paper things, you know, this, this is nicer, this is more my world. Hello, that's me, right in there. Welcome to my glamorous abode backstage. Oh, the life of a voiceover artist. Seriously though, it is extremely lonely and very cramped. On Tuesday, we held a party for the nominees at BAFTA's 195 Piccadilly headquarters. Siobhan, what would a win for Tearaway mean to you? The nominations, to be honest, were enough already. Uh, and anything we win beyond that is just, would just be fabulous. Well, Siobhan, I've got a funny feeling you will be experiencing that fabulousness later. On Wednesday, dawn broke on the biggest day of the BAFTA Games calendar. At our new location in East London, the queues for our Inside Game showcase stretched as far as the eye could see. Inside were some of the most anticipated titles, including Titanfall, Dark Souls 2, and Elite Dangerous, including a special appearance by the Dark Souls Knight himself. Looking sharp, Mr. Knight. On the BAFTA stage, games developers gave their insights into the creative process, and you can watch all of these talks in full on BAFTA Guru very soon. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the photographers gathered as the first of the evening's guests arrived on the red carpet. Hey Bradley, how long now until the awards begin? Well, we've got a little over half an hour until the ceremony begins. Uh, and right now we're just checking in the guests you might see behind me. We've got nominees and guests arriving. It's important that we say hello to them and make the night as special for them as we can. Going on previous BAFTA uh, ceremonies, I think the atmosphere is going to be brilliant. We've had a, an amazing bar put together for us downstairs with BAFTA in light bulbs. Something of the, the Gatsby about it, so I think it's going, to be, it's going to be a great night. Backstage, the BAFTA team unpacked their precious cargo and soon the ceremony was in full swing. Metal Gear Solid creator Hideo Kojima was a guest of honour. He presented the fellowship to the Rockstar Games team. All of the action was live streamed on Twitch TV and featured some quite frankly world-class commentary. Another trip to the stage for Rex and his team tonight. Incredibly, they created real paper prototypes of almost every object in their delightful platforming game. The awards came thick and fast with the coveted best game prize going to The Last of Us. To celebrate the success of the game, why not create your own Last of Us themed cocktail, as served by the loading bar at the official awards after party? The Last of Us post apocalyptic setting, so that's why this one's kind of in a found can. And then, spirit wise, we've kind of picked things that would have been left in the back of grandparents' drinks cabinets. So, Advocat, banana liqueur, bay leaves, and then cream and ice cream. Oh, that reminds me, I must go for a job today. Yeah, this one definitely isn't for people on a diet. Um, and it's not the kind of thing you want to mix with other drinks. And just like that, the Games Awards in 2014 came to a close. You can watch highlights from the ceremony on BAFTA.org very soon, or catch up with our backstage interviews with the winners on our YouTube channel. Until next year, game on, viewers. Game on. And if you need me, I'll still be in my fortress of boozy solitude, sweating out the avocado. Bye then. <laughs> well <laughs>